three, two, and it's time. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Stream Geeks. We just got back from an amazing little holiday break, and we hope that if you celebrated, you enjoyed yours. In the spirit of Cyber Monday today, we're going to talk a little bit about hosting a teleshopping live show using Facebook and YouTube. Should be a lot of fun, and we're going to have a live call-in as well. We're just going to use Zoom for our call-in. There are a lot of different uh, live streaming video production tools for hosting call-ins, and we're going to call out a couple of them, but we're just going to use Zoom today on a cell phone to bring you guys in and... Uh, Talk a little bit about these funny uh, products we we're going to be selling on Cyber Monday today. Got a, uh, a little audio, double audio. So Paul, I believe, um, has put shoot. the call number in the chat on YouTube, and we'll do so on Facebook as well for the portion of the show where we test our little system here on how to call in um, for a QVC style or teleshopping style stream. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of fun. And uh, this is kind of that call-in style stream that's been popularized by QVC, actually, right here in Westchester, Pennsylvania. And uh, they're live streaming on Facebook now. They actually live stream 24-7, and they get about 300 people watching simultaneously on Facebook. You have to wonder, that might actually be more than they get on a regular cable network, depending on the time of day, whether it's in the middle of the night uh, you know, they're streaming 24-7, so it's quite interesting. You can do this at home using a lot of off-the-shelf products and technologies. Yeah, we're going to be bringing some tips and tricks on ways and times of the year that you might want to optimize thinking about doing a teleshopping style stream. For example, when the holidays are around, just like today, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, and other special times of year wh where people are looking for sales on social media networks. So QVC is obviously a very popular uh, use of this, and we found some really cool templates for doing this. So you can get actually free templates at the link below, ptzoptics.com slash landing, I believe slash qvc.html, I know that's long, links in the description below to get free uh, Photoshop templates to do this. But we also found a really cool, and that's not the right, that's not the right. I'll have to put it, it in the chat. Uh, we'll put it in the chat as well. But um, we also found a really cool vMixer template that we're going to show you guys. A little premium template from the Facebook group vMixers is going to make this really cool. Yeah, really excited to see some of the stuff that they've been putting out. We've got a funny little story that we're going to share with you guys later on on pay-per-view streaming gone bad, Tiger Woods' latest nightmare. Uh, and one of the, uh, I think it's Comcast that had the issue with this. They're kind of have their tail between their legs regarding something in live streaming, and we're going to get into that soon. A little bit of fun on this Cyber Monday. Let's get to it. All right. Let's go, guys. Don't forget, uh, if you have a studio or you're out there and you're using PTZ Optics cameras, you can become a StreamGeek certified studio, and we can help you get referrals for your technology business. All right. So let's start by showing you guys a little bit, a little look at our studio. I wanted to just quickly take this full screen and show you guys what our studio technology is kind of going to be the setup today. Uh, so let's take a look at that. First of all, we have a 12X NDI camera as our main camera. You'll see this camera has multiple presets during this show. One will be a close-up of the products. And then we've got our, our NDI uh, Z cam. That's Tess's close-up. Variable lens camera can be interchanged with other lenses. That's powered over Ethernet via SDI, and Tess is going to be using that for her close-ups during the phone call portion. We also have a ceiling camera that's uh, mounted in the ceiling, used for showing documents, and uh, we've, we've used that quite a bit, actually, throughout the show, and that's just a standard 12x SDI camera. Uh, we've also got a couple cameras mounted on the wall, uh, two 20s and actually a 30 and those are just mounted to get the different shots that you'll see throughout our production, whether it be an angled shot or um, a close-up. Mike has multiple preset positions on both of those. That's our custom-built Eastern Shore Broadcasting PC. And uh, we're showing that off. That's uh, got eight camera inputs. We're using the DPA Define microphone headsets with wireless Shore lapel, uh, or wireless Shore uh, BLX system and a ULX system. And uh, we just wear it. It's nice to be completely wireless. We used to go hardwired, but now we're totally wireless. 
That was a big, big upgrade. We're also using the Waves VST3 plugins, which if you haven't looked into those, vMix now supports this. Um, they really changed the game when it comes to uh, audio quality. Now, as you'll notice, as we move from our main studio into our podcasting studio, that's all connected over the new tech NDI. So we are going to be connecting our studio, uh, two studios together, really, in the same live stream. And we have an 18-channel mixer over there using the Shure SM7B microphones uh, with the mix minus setup so we can all hear each other in our headphones. We've got a couple PTZ Optics cameras using the PTZ Optics producer kit over there to... Um, connect to our uh, our video into our stream. So that's pretty cool stuff. We've got quite a few mini PCs there, the Nooks, also paired with our X keys to cue our sound effects for our podcast. All right. Well, let's get into it, guys. Let's show them uh, the close-up of this product we're going to sell, a brand new NDI cable. You guys are going <laughs> to love this. This is a brand new NDI cable from uh, PTZ Optics. It's $38, and we have a cool custom overlay we're gonna show in the titles section. And it's gonna kinda give you guys an idea of, some ideas of teleshopping, right? So here we go. Boom! Cyber Monday, final price, $32. I just love this uh, lower third title, if you will. Uh, and that call now actually will work if you wanna call in. And uh, we're thinking that, tell us about how this cable saved your Thanksgiving. Uh, did, did, did this wonderful NDI cable, and look at the quality of it, Tess. Feel the, feel the ruggedness of that. Wow, this is a handmade right here in America, Downingtown, PA, wire by our very own Adam in shipping. Hear that on the click? That's how you and know it's good. And this, of course, is showing you guys an example of how you might sell some of your products. Maybe you'd have a little bit more of a sleek uh, display. Maybe your tags are not taped onto the product. Maybe <laughs> they're uh, nicely sewn in. But for today's purposes, this is just going to work wonderfully. So we've been able to have a close-up on the product. We can also yeah. do an overhead of the product. Yes. Great example of how you can demonstrate something on a live stream to sell. Pricing is displayed in multiple locations with our overlay, as well as um, on the product itself. Yes, and we, it, it's always nice to show a close-up and what, what generally they'll do uh, in QVC is so there's a close-up and then they'll kind of switch to a real person holding the product. Um, so they'll kind of go back and forth between two or three different views of the product itself. Um, so I'll pick up one here. And we can do a close-up, but that's generally how it's done. And this this title just blew me away when I saw this title, and I said, "Wow, um, you know, this is just a great way to uh, to kind of do Cyber Monday and quote unquote <laughs> tele shopping." So we've got that one, and then we also have an SDI cable here for for those of you who are more traditional. <laughs> AV's favorite cable, and. Uh, you know, it's just, this is this cable has been tried and true for a long time, and uh, we still use it here in our studio quite a bit. 96% um, discount, today only. Beyond just the QVC style, I'm seeing a lot of companies that have, I don't know if there's a proper term for this type of selling, but like the Tupperware type salesmen who are selling, uh, you know, Tupperware purses, Mary Kay makeup, anything like that. LuLaRoe leggings is a big one mm -hmm. where their salespeople are using not just the parties that people host to sell the products. They're actually taking to social media to talk about the products and um, to sell them, whether they send them to a Zoom call like we're doing today, or they just ask them to private message them where they can then exchange purchasing information. They're going live. They have a simple background. They might not even have an awesome overlay like the one we shared today, but still it's important to, you know, use everything you have at your, your disposal when you're actually, you know, a self-starter trying to sell a smaller product or even larger companies out there that are looking to expand, you know, you can't get on television all the time. Why not go to your own social media platforms and start a show uh, all by yourself on how yeah. to sell products? It's, it's definitely a, a totally a game changer in the industry to be able to cut out the uh, middleman there. And w w if QVC won't talk to you or just going directly to your social media page or, um, you know, doing something for your clients like this, um, 
Cyber Monday, you know, it's becoming more of a big deal. Black Friday, things of that nature. Not all products have shelf space. So we thought we'd show it off. I thought it was a pretty cool new title. That's from the vMixers group. Um, Hassad is his name who created that product. Here's another uh, fun one that we're probably going to be using more often. This one's actually uh, designed for real estate. But uh, take a look at that. We have our agenda. And uh, we were actually going to start the show with this, but I think we forgot. But take a look at that. Just gives you a nice, quick and easy way to display a good amount of information. So it, it, a mix of these technologies can really help us kind of brainstorm on where the industry could go. And a lot of people just don't know how to use this stuff. So we wanted to break it down for you in a little presentation and talk about how it all works. So one of the things we have here is... Um, our cameras. So as you guys saw, we've got four different, we actually have seven cameras I counted today, and they're connected via PCIe capture cards into our custom PC computer. So that's all fine and dandy. And then we've got our wireless headsets. These are essentially what is used at QVC and many of the professionals with a wireless setup there. And then that's coming into a USB uh, mixer, I call it, but it's a USB audio interface, which comes into vMix and then allows us to use those VST3 plugins. So that gets us pretty far. And then uh, what we're doing is we're using a Zoom call, uh, which that number is available if you guys want to call in. Um, but feel free, you know, you don't have to obviously. Um, <laughs> call in there and then uh, we can bring people in, you know, as if it was a QVC show. Um, we've got a couple NDI cameras. We, you're using an NDI Telestrator right now. And we're going to be trying to show you guys more and more how uh, you know, the tech behind everything works, because sometimes we left that kind of behind. Hi, Andrea. I can't forget about the good stuff, especially with this group of audience members. Now, this is the podcast studio here. So as we walk over to the podcast, you guys probably saw that slide earlier, but I'm just going to show it one more time how when we walk over to our podcasting area, we are actually connected to our studio over the local area network via NDI. So we're bridging two studios together. And that really makes it nice. So now we have access to all this technology, including four really high-end microphones on boom stands, coming into a digital audio mixer. And then similar to, um, to our other setup, we're using those VST3 plugins. We have a mix minus setup and some cameras. So you guys saw all that. Using NDI for our purposes means that we don't have to end a stream to start a whole different set and a whole different uh, section of content over there. It's really a huge step up for us to be able to add podcasting and video podcasting into the live stream and uh, we've really enjoyed it. So tested some homework on the history of teleshopping. Well, I, I believe it started in, in the 80s. A visual, a visual homework. Uh, <laughs> yes, it did start in the late 80s, which I was surprised. Yeah, For some reason, I was thinking like the 50s. I know, me too. So it was a new concept almost in the early 90s. Yeah, the top left is the supposedly, from what I found on Google, the very first air date of the QVC. Uh, wow. Yeah, of QVC. So I, don't, I wonder what that product is. Does anybody recognize that? It's kind of small, too. I can't, I can't even hardly see it. Well, you can it, look behind you for a second. It looks like a lottery machine. It does look like a lottery machine. Oh, my God. Maybe it was like a bingo machine. Or maybe this was just a portion of the show. Maybe the show was, you know, completely different in a way. There was maybe like a call-in giveaway a style A call-in giveaway, exactly. And then the picture just beyond that is the famous story of the lady who invented like the smart mop mm -hmm. where you could twist it. Joy, I believe, I think is her name. Yeah. Uh, and that famous story. And then I started to go into the later 90s mm -hmm. and finished up with a photo from a Christmas Ah, version. very nice. They must do great on Christmas. You can see they've got the classic lower third and then the additional information. I mean, when, you, when you're showing information on the screen, people will read it if they're interested. Uh, and then Cyber Monday is really kind of a new thing that's come about in the past couple of years, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ever since Amazon kind of popularized it. And uh, now QVC is live streaming on Facebook specifically. Yeah. It's important to note that the image that I'm showing in right here is actually from this past Friday's Black Friday uh, sales with QVC. And that was exclusive to Facebook or maybe YouTube as well. But that was a social media platform only uh, piece of content. So they're not sending the same 
content to social media as they are airing on cable television. So that allows them to extend their reach and the amount of products that they can be selling at one specific time, you know, to a whole different genre of people, a whole different place of where people are. You know, people are at their work on their computers. They're not just sitting in front of a television at home. It allows them to have access to a lot more people. And I'm sure they're doing very well with that. <laughs> Sam is asking if uh, it's it's video. We could do video. Um, we certainly could, but we, we just we don't set, have a good way to share the video right now. We set it up for for voice um, specifically because we thought I do. A, I could actually show the video because I could show it up on the screen you can. here. But um, and, we, and maybe I will. But we wanted to do. Uh, we have some live streamers doing this already in San Antonio. Says Chris. Yeah, if I sold any kind of product, I mean, it's like a no brainer. Well, and I think it's, it's it's safe to say, and I didn't I didn't do a, a slide on this, but there's this scale of like how much you know actual sales pitch you want to do. Mm -hmm. Like QVC is like hard selling. Yeah. Like it's a twenty dollar rice cooker, and they're saying how amazing it is and opening this every this feature. Thing is like this, as uh, if it's like a cure all. Or I know something. it's like this thing's gonna save the world. <laughs> it's probably gonna end up in a landfill. But um, you know we have. Um, we helped uh, do a, st a style stream like this for uh, Old Soul Decor that does furniture. And really the goal there is not to sell online live, but really to draw those people in. But we found that, oh, slick, Mike. We, we found that um, drawing those people into the store is the goal, then just sh displaying the lower thirds, showing them the different varieties and colors and kind of presenting it in a QVC style, but not really expecting people to order and like have it shipped right away. But so different businesses have different goals. It also shows a little bit of a personal flair for whoever the owner is or your salesperson, kind of get your customers to know them as a familiar person. Yeah. So uh, bringing in uh, phone callers. Oh, yep, spelling error. I saw that. Let's I was like, oh, switch that. Uh, so essentially, we're, we're hosting a Zoom call, and we can bring the NDI feed directly back into our... Uh, I like to use Zoom because it's great to... If I wasn't sure how many people would call in, that we would be able to manage, or manage a bunch of people if we needed to. Uh, we could just have a telephone. Uh, so we showed you the really cool teleshopping vMix title. Uh, there is a Photoshop template that you can download at the link below if you want to try that. But what's that. the link? Because it's not below, and I need to put it somewhere. Uh, all right. Just I, tell I me the link it. now so we can get... Um, it's PT, I'll, I'll type it in there. I have it. You, you have it? Okay. There it is. Just so we can make sure that you guys can access this. And I don't know too much about the vMixers. I know they're a Facebook group that you can go join and check out some of their stuff because we've got some of their stuff yeah. now, and we can obviously recommend that good tool to use is that it, obviously it's you buy the templates right yes okay so you purchase mm -hmm. templates there they're really fun do we have the instagram one uh we were supposed to i thought i, put I it don't in know there. I'm looking for it right he's now. looking for it I can't, I can't find okay it. It, it's like it's, it, it doesn't show up as anything it's in the squares section so what's this with the vmix color correction presets oh i wanted to mention this if anyone is using ptz optics camera there it is so that's just a cool title uh i wanted to mention that uh, if anyone's using PTZ Optics cameras with other cameras, if you can help us color match them and download the preset and send it to us, we will pay you $25 for each one. Ah. Does that make sense? Uh, yes, I had no idea what that meant. So I don't know if anyone's using PTZ Optics cameras and vMix together, but we're trying to compile a color correction preset list that people can reference to help make color correction easier. And we'll give you some money for that. Now, um, video screening services are quite interesting, and I wanted to mention this, that uh, if you are doing like a high-end uh, call-in for some reason, uh, you know, it's like it's really, you're really having a lot of success, you're selling a lot, uh, NeuralNet has a live-to-air and call-in manager, and this allows you, it completely works with NDI to have remote-based uh, guests and uh, actually have a, a complete manager, so you could screen the callers, and make sure that you know they're ready to go on air. For example, that's definitely something to consider. Yeah, if if you really you know starting the next QVC, and then finally Tiger Woods, and I think that's Phil McKinnon. Let us know in the chat because uh, I don't know who he is. They uh, had a big glitch in their live stream. So if this makes you feel any better about live streaming, you know it happens to even the best of them, and they had to give free access to everyone because they. The paying customers couldn't even uh, get access to yeah, it. Yeah, it was like Comcast and this big media company. Um, 
and you know it was like twenty some dollars for the pay per view. Yeah. And they had a problem, so they had to give it to everybody for free just to make sure that even the paying customers got to see it. So ha ha, it happens to everybody. Um, and, oh, yeah. I literally am the emoji. Yeah. That was like a weird that. Whew, that makes me nervous. So that's our show, folks. It. We'll see you guys in the podcast. I hope you thought that was interesting. We've done a show like this in the past, but with that new, uh, you know, cool title that you guys saw and just some of the new things coming out, I thought it was worth revisiting. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and we'll see you guys soon. See you in the studio, in the podcast. Thank you.